May has become a poster child for thick women everywhere, and now with this new Lunar New Year skin, people are a little upset. They seem fooled that May isn't as skinny as they once thought, and Blizzard came out and had some choice words that might not have been so truthful. Might I start by saying that all of these Lunar New Year skins are fantastic. They didn't even have to do anything for Chinese New Year, considering they just did a winter event. Most of the Lunar New Year skins were met with praise from the community. Hot Zenyat is a thing now, because he's got a face. And I guess people think that they could ship him easier with other characters, I don't know. Anyway, people have a problem with the new May skin because of course they do. There was a community post titled, Where Did May's Waist Go? And it reads, her regular suit seems like a tight fit on her, but her Chinese New Year one, her bust and waist are totally slimmed down. We can have fat as fuck Roadhog and love him, so why can't we have Fat May? I love the comment right underneath it. Because you need to stop focusing on May's weight and move the payload. Yes. <laughs> so what gives? I think the obvious answer is that she's wearing a big heavy jacket in her regular skin. She even has a belt full of thick pouches around her waist, so this adds a lot of weight to her midsection. This definitely bulks up her silhouette. It does look like it's squeezing her pretty tight there, but that's just because all of the lines curve inward and out of that waist area. There's also a side profile floating around that compares her firefighter skin to her new skin. There's definitely a lot more thickness in that firefighter skin. I think it's important to note that this is a firefighter outfit. Those are thick as hell, and it's thicker everywhere on her body. I do not think it was intentional to make May any thinner than she was previously. She literally just took her jacket off, that's it. If you look back at some of the original concept designs for May, she does look skinny. I know these are just concepts and don't necessarily reflect the final product, but she's skinny here. These are some ideas from the artists. I shouldn't say skinny, but there is an hourglass going on. But then Blizzard responded to that forum post from earlier. A community manager said, there's a bug with May's Luna and Chang change skins right now that's causing her waist to appear much smaller than normal. We've already fixed the bug internally, but it's going to require a patch to implement. Ideally, it'll be included in whatever next patch hits your gaming platform. That seems like a whole load of horseshit to me. I find it very hard to believe that this is a bug. It's an artist's vision of what the character would look like without all of her gear on. People just don't like it and want her to be fatter. I don't think it's gonna stop anybody from playing the game, but fine. If you wanna appease the fans, then go ahead and fix it. But calling it a bug is a little much. Just say you screwed up. Blizzard does have a history of responding to criticism like this and making changes because of it. There was the infamous sexy tracer pose, which got replaced by a slightly less sexy, but still pretty sexy tracer pose. Players even took issue with the May skin in the Winter Wonderland event. In a post titled, Blizzard, please give an answer to the May skin, a user stated, it's clear that a majority of people do not like that skin. And I feel that it is inferior to all of the other legendary skins in the game. Someone from Blizzard needs to respond to the criticism of the May skin and clarify what exactly defines a legendary skin. This skin is probably going to be the last May legendary skin for a while. A long while. If May was the last year to get a skin since launch, then I shudder to think how long it'll be until we get our next one. A lot of people are concerned that this will be her only new skin for a long time. And it's, as decided by the community, Quite a disappointing one. Goddamn. Remember, these are free updates, and Blizzard doesn't have to do any of these. For the record, I don't think there's anything wrong with her holiday skin. It's Christmassy, and maybe people took issue with that? In this case, it was game director Jeff Kaplan who responded saying, Sorry you are disappointed with May's winter skin. We don't have a specific rule for what makes something legendary or epic. We just sort of make a gut call based off of what we think is cool. Coolness is very subjective, and based off of the community reaction, it seems like our gauge was off on this one. This part is great. For people concerned that May is not going to get another legendary skin for a long time, you need not worry. We have something pretty awesome for her early next year. Ha! Oh, Jeff Kaplan, how you were so young then. One month ago. <laughs> I think he hit the nail right on the head there. Coolness is very subjective. 
I align myself with Steve Jobs' theory that people don't know what they want. They just have to be handed something that they'll like or something like that. And not everybody is going to like what you have to offer. You can't please everybody. It's good that Blizzard is active in their community, but you don't have to make excuses for yourself. Your product is good. People are going to keep playing. Now, if you want to fix May, nerf the fuck out of her so her ice shield stops blocking my high noon. So what do you guys think about May's weight problem in Overwatch? Do you think it was actually a bug or do you think that an artist just screwed up or do you think that they even screwed up? And what do you think about how they handle their community problems? Are they making everybody happy in the end? Leave it in the comments below. At me on Twitter, all this other social media garbage. Remember that there's new videos every single Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Wednesday nights is Wolf Den Live. Join us for our live podcast where we talk to you and we talk about stuff together. And there's also the art over on the Shoddy Cast channel if you like how I talk about character design with all of the stuff drawn on the screen and whatnot. There's a lot more of that over there. And of course, the most important things that you could do is subscribe. Share this video with a friend who likes Overwatch and is probably bitching about the May thing. I keep moving this camera. Thank you guys very much. Have a good week.